Hello, Chris. This is Alim Vergato from uh, Javelin Technologies. Uh, thank you actually for uh, sharing with us on the forum this part. It's it's actually really wonky. It's the first time um, I saw an imported part where uh, the import diagnostics gives you this uh, warning missing geometry, and there is no way to delete uh, such faces or repair them. So obviously, uh, import diagnostic will not do the trick. Uh, I caution you against doing anything with this part without um, making sure that the topology is correct. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to save this as, as an IGES file. It's like translating it into a different language and hoping that the bits, the words that I don't know uh, how to pronounce, they I'm going to miss those words. So in a way, those five faces are going to be missed. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the options for the safe to IGES. Notice I don't pick step or parasolid, especially parasolid because it's the same language of solidus. I'm trying to find something that is a as uh, foreign to SOLIDWORKS as possible. So anyway, for now, let's uh, let's use this uh, this option. Uh, so let's uh, save it out. Notice this message again, something that I haven't seen before. So thank you very much for uh, for sharing this uh, model with us. I learned a lot by playing with it. So five faces five five faces failed to translate. Cool. Uh, let's open that uh, I just file. Now, when you open it, as you as you know, in SOLIDWORKS, you have two different engines to, to run it, to import it in SOLIDWORKS, the 3D interconnect engine and uh, the traditional engine. Um, if you want, I can uh, direct you to uh, articles showing in detail what the differences are in um, uh, working with them. So right now, uh, I'm going to use the uh, 3D interconnect, usually is my first choice and if it doesn't work I'll, I'll use the traditional uh, let's dissolve this feature so it's no longer linked to the IGES file and uh, let's examine the result notice how um, these faces are missing but now I'm having some really wonky geometry here okay uh, let's um, run import diagnostics notice I have 21 faces with uh, general geometry problems Pretty much everything, and some of them are unsimplified geometry. Now, usually, uh, general geometry and simplified geometry are things that can be fixed with uh, with heal. Um, just be aware that uh, it's possible that sm small changes in uh, geometry might happen. So notice everything is green. This is where I want to start. Um, it's it's not possible to measure the radius of this because it's not recognized as a cylindrical face. So let's go to check. Uh, select this face and put a check mark on minimum radius of curvature. That's going to give us a pretty good uh, indicator about uh, the size of 0.1 millimeter. Now, at this point, you might be tempted to to attempt to delete these faces, and um, uh, and reapply the fillet. Right? Uh, unfortunately, and let's try that. Some of these other faces are. Um, uh, are not uh, extendable or untrimmable. So if I try delete face, let's go delete and patch everything that's around. That's a quick way actually to ensure that we select all those faces, the small faces, right? Uh, delete and patch will not work. And actually the reason it doesn't work after a little bit of uh, digging, you're gonna find out that you cannot uh, delete and patch this face. Uh, you can, the funny thing is that you can delete and patch this face, right? So you can see, so this is able to simplify some things, others are not. Uh, the other thing that's really a bit uh, nuts is what's going to, what uh, SOLIDWORKS did here when he removed, when it removed that face. So I'm going to say I cannot really trust the, the top face. Um, what I can trust is probably the bottom face, even even though even here I'm not sure, uh, but we didn't do any change, so uh, probably the bottom face is I can trust it. Now let me show you another thing that's uh, that's strange. If you if you try to do any patching or uh, changes, kind of reverse engineering, I'm gonna try to replace all these faces with this. That's another way to get rid of all these fillets, right? So uh, let me simply run on uh, an offset surface. To, to copy this top face, I can also run the need face command, uh, need surface command. Okay, so I have this surface body, which I'm going to hide it for a second. 
Uh, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all these faces again. So, uh, so let's do that. One thing that I want to see if, if, if I have the previous selection. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so replace face. Really powerful command. One of my favorites in uh, surface modeling. Fortunately, I have to select these guys kind of manually. It'd be nice if they would have uh, the option, the same options that you have for delete face in the replace face. Okay. Uh, so those are the faces that I want to replace and I want to replace it with a new surface body. Now, because that is a planar surface, it, it's really infinite. So I don't have to untrim it or anything. And you can see I'm getting these uh, sharp edges. But now if you're looking in here, um, you're going to find out that uh, you cannot really trust the, the top face. So whatever came from the from the edges file did not work very well. And you can see that actually when you try to apply a fillet. So if I apply a 0.1 millimeter fillet here, uh, let's take a look at the solution that came here. And you can see this singularity, uh, another one there, right? So that's uh, telling you that when these faces are being uh, extended, uh, SOLIDWORKS comes up with a really wonky solution. The, the, the other thing I can try instead of a, a constant radius, uh, let's try a face fillet, right? So fillet, uh, use face fillet, let's say this is in the top and everything around. Uh, I use the tangent propagation. The thing is I don't see really what uh, what's going to be tangent to this. It looks like nothing or not everything it is. So these two this one, this one, this one. So you don't really have tangencies there. So these vertical faces are kind of screwed up. And this guy, and this guy, and I think we're closing. Nope, it's actually even, even worse. So I might need to select all these faces just to make sure that I have my selection. And you can see right away uh, some of the problems that, that happens. So be, instead of this, so this is just for forensic, forensic analysis. And I'm saying that because you mentioned you might have other other parts that are even worse than this. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do instead is something that you already know. Run a, a quick convert entities on the bottom. Uh, try to extrude. Uh, let's go up to surface and do not merge the result. Uh, maybe hide for now i'm not going to delete it because we might want to compare the results the imported body um, apply your uh, your fillet let's see how this one comes let's try a constant radius first and looks a little bit cleaner right so uh anyway <laughs> long discussion for something that should uh, should take just a couple of uh, of clicks so now i'm if i want i can certainly delete this body the the previous one uh, let me know um, how the other parts are going because this is really cool, really interesting. Uh, I'm, one thing that I would question right now is how accurate this face, this um, geometry is. I guess you, if you trust the bottom face, you're good. If you don't, uh, God knows. 